What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk specifically about how exactly coding has changed my life. I feel like it has been a skill that I've learned over the past year where it's absolutely changed my life completely. Like it's almost like a 360 degree turn, like it's crazy. Um, my life has not been the same since I've learned how to code and definitely has been one of those skills that I found the most beneficial that I've picked up, like I said, in the last year. So I wanted to give you guys some of the reasons why it's changed my life and to possibly change your mind if you are on the fence about learning it or if you're thinking about making a career switch towards de uh, software development, web development, whatever it is that that may be, uh, coding in general, um, maybe and hopefully some of those reasons can entice you to come over to this route uh, and enjoy and reap those benefits of what, co what coding can possibly bring to you. Number one, coding has opened up streams of income for me specifically through freelancing. I have been enjoying picking up clients, doing some work on the side and, you know, charging them either a one time fee to make a website or, you know, signing on monthly that I've done with a specific client that I will put like right here. I'll put the website here. It's for the gym that I go to where I make the website for them and I maintain it. I make changes as needed. And currently, as you know, during the times of COVID, things are changing. Restrictions in California um, are consistently changing as well. So sometimes we do have to update some things on the website and I go in and maintain them whenever the owner needs to get changes made or whatever it is that may be. And I also run social media. So for those of you guys who don't know or who don't follow Study Web Development or Kyle Prinsloo on uh, Instagram and Twitter, he specifically has a book that I will link down below. It's also a program that you can take and read through that uh, helps you with freelancing, how to get started with some templates and things like that. So if you are looking to get into the freelance route, you should definitely check it out. It has been so beneficial for me. And like I said, at the very beginning of this topic, it has opened up different avenues of income for me so that I can reap the benefits of coding. You know, making a website is not hard. For the most part, client sites are very, very simple. Uh, depending on who you work with and who you work for. But I think it's been a great uh, aspect of coding that uh, that door was previously closed. I was never going to pick up clients for anything because beforehand I was never really capable of doing anything creatively for that matter uh, to bring a service to somebody. And now with coding, now that I've learned that skill and can do it efficiently and fast, that's been a tremendous help for me. So if you're looking to get into freelancing, definitely learn how to code and look into the um, study web development program that I will put down below. The second thing that I have found that coding has brought to me is opened up a supportive community that uh, not only encourages you, but is more than willing to help you out. You know, there's the Instagram a dev community, there's the Twitter, Instagram, and then there's YouTube, you know, there's all these different platforms uh, where you can find developers, not to mention on Reddit, uh, some other blog sites like Dev.2, Medium even has a good one. There's just so many like-minded individuals that you will come to find when you start to code and when you start your journey, like for me example, I started my journey on Instagram documenting my day to day when I was learning how to code. and you know, from the get, there were so many people that came on my Instagram and you know, shot through motivational comments, um, got me through some tough times, helps me out with some issues in my code. I remember specifically there was one time where I was making my side project, the NBA stats app. If you guys want to go to my GitHub and check that out, it's, you can definitely check the repo out there. Um, I was working with react and redux for the very first time. And I was having some issues with redux and working with, you know, the reducers and, and state and all that stuff and the action creators. And there was a bunch of devs that came through, uh, forked the repo and showed me their changes and even offered up some advice as to what UI changes I should make or how to make this workflow a little bit different. And they hit me up through different avenues, through Instagram DMs, through Instagram comments, through email, uh, through Twitter DMs, Twitter, like it was just crazy. So the community that's behind all devs for the very most part has been very, very supportive and is very, very open. Um, not to mention that we're all just about each other, you know, obviously we have our own wins and we like showing off our work and, you know, doing all that stuff, but it's not always about just us. Um, development is always 
on the move and there's always something to learn and there's always someone in the community that knows more than us and to be able to go back and forth with people like that and you know for the most part be judgment free on that aspect has been you know one of the best things because not a lot of communities are like that for example the gaming community not to shame the gaming community but coming from a background where you play counter-strike the community isn't all that uh helpful uh they can get pretty toxic so to come to a community that isn't toxic for the most part even when there's toxic people i feel like most of the community gets behind your back and supports you anyway so to have that open up in my life has definitely changed it for the better the third thing that coding has done for me has given me opportunities to build products or websites for people myself you know whatever it is i i'm able to offer a service which goes off the back of point number one was freelancing, right? Like you are now able to build something that you want to build, whether that be a website, whether that be a actual product that you can use. For example, I recently built a barbell weight calculator that you can use as a web app and it solved an issue that I had in the gym and you know, people that I actually know would use it. So there, it just solves the problem, right? And I was able to do that with just a little bit of code. And I actually streamed it live and a lot of people helped me through that, which backs off of the community aspect. People just jumped on my stream and without shaming me, whenever I got stuck on an issue or something like that, they were actually more than willing to help me, which was awesome. You know, they were just in the chat saying, hey, you should do this, hey, you should do that. Um, this should look like this, this should look like that. You know, the, the, just feeding off ideas, getting inspiration from them and just getting the support from the community was great on that project. But that's another avenue that just kind of opens up, right? Like you can creatively assert yourself and kind of flex whatever ideas are in your mind and actually put them into practical use through code. You know, building that website you've always wanted to build for your friend, building that website for the business that you have, building that website for clients that you potentially find, or making web apps that solve an issue that you've been having, whether that be through finances, um, an invoice uh, system, uh, inventory, whatever it is, right? Like the possibilities that code brings are endless as far as solutions. So that's one another aspect that code has definitely done for me that I've thoroughly enjoyed because I've had so many ideas that I want to have build and I wouldn't have been able to do that had it not been for me actually learning how to code. The fourth thing that I actually really, really do enjoy about coding is it allows me to be location independent. And what do I mean by that? Location independence, if you guys don't know, means that you can literally work wherever you want to. So for example, the client website, I was able to work on that thing before COVID, you know, in coffee shops, at friends' houses, in in their kitchens, their living rooms, my, my room, my kitchen, you know, like I don't need to be stuck to an office. I don't need to be stuck in a cubicle to do this work. I can be wherever I want to in the world. Obviously not at this time, but if, you know, everything opens up, you're able to travel now, you're able to be location independent and you don't need to worry about where you are as long as you have a computer and as long as you have an internet connection you are able to do the work. So if you're a freelancer and you have multiple clients, uh, yes, it'd be great if the clients were local and in person, but it's not like you can't email them or you can't get, a, get on a Zoom meeting with them to discuss things that you need to get done on a website or whatever product that you're working for them. You can be, your client can be in California and you can be out in Tennessee and you can still get the job done. You know, granted if Tennessee is where you wanna be, you know, for me, I would be in Thailand right now. I would be living in Thailand doing the work that I do now, creating videos on code, coding for clients, whatever it is, code allows you to be wherever you wanna be. So long as you have two things, a computer and an internet connection, actually maybe three and the will to, you know, want to code. If you have that third aspect for sure, then, you know, the location independence is what definitely brings a lot of people to code, which is probably one of the most beneficial things for me, at least, because I don't like being stuck to a desk all the time. I love to be around. I like to work in different areas and to be able to bring my work, not even just at a different location, but with different devices, right? I can work off my laptop. I can work off of a desktop. If I get a new laptop, I'm doing it on there too. I can just clone my repos and get to work from there, right? Like it's 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 an amazing ecosystem and business to be in with code. And that aspect in itself has changed my life and has definitely made me a lot more happy not being in a cubicle doing 
the work that I wanna be doing. The fifth and final thing that I will get into right now is probably a big one for me, and this isn't a physical benefit by any means. This is actually an emotional and mental one, but code has given me confidence. And it's weird to say that, right? Because you see all the memes, you see all the people on Twitter talk about, oh, all these bugs, like, they they had the compiler wouldn't work because they missed a comma they missed a semicolon they mistyped a word and things just didn't work and you know those things can be very frustrating but as my journey progressed in my in learning how to code i was able to over time gain confidence in myself because i started to realize that you know code at, before I started to learn it seemed like this mystical thing that only smart people who were good at math were able to do. Now, knowing that I can code, I was never good at math. I dropped out of college. I never finished school. I was never a school kind of person. For someone like me to be able to learn how to code and actually do it and make products and websites that people actually say are you know, somewhat decent, right? Gives me confidence that not only that I can do the work, but anyone can do the work. This is an industry that anybody can get into no matter what age you are, no matter your, your background is. It doesn't matter if you're in tech or if you're a construction worker, you can get into code if you have the drive and the will to do it. And for me personally, it's improved my self-esteem. It's improved my confidence, no matter how many bugs or issues that frustrate me throughout the journey. That's, that's part of the process, right? Like, Overcoming those obstacles is what gives me confidence because then I know that I can actually overcome those and be a better developer every single day. You know, every hour I take to learn how to code, I learn something new. That's something in my repertoire that I add that just gives me this weird stimulus of I feel of, of feeling good about myself. You know, I learned something today and tomorrow I'm gonna be geeked up because I get to learn something new with you know, React or whether that be something new in CSS, you know, the, the, again, the avenues that you can go in coding are endless. Front end, back end, data science, uh, machine learning, AI, whatever it is, like you, you're, there's always something new to learn and that's exciting to me. It gives me confidence. It boosts my mental every time I learn something new and some, and whenever I achieve something, it's, it just, it gives me a feel good moment. Those are just some of the things that, you know, coding has done to, that changes my life completely. And hopefully some of those things can entice you if you are on the fence of learning how to code, just do it. Um, the opportunities it opens up, all the doors that were previously not there that now are available to you to open up. Uh, become available when you learn how to code. So if you're looking to make a career switch to it and you were kind of on the fence, hopefully some of those tips, not tips, hopefully some of those aspects in my life that have changed entice you and change your mind to learn how to code. But that's gonna be it for me. If you guys have enjoyed this video and, and you know, got something out of it, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or different kinds of videos you would love to see from me, definitely hit me down in the comments as well. But I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.